Hi everyone, Angela here. If you don't have any tracing paper, you can use baking paper to make this pattern. And if you don't have that, you can also use a plastic bag. Just cut it up into a large flat piece. This is the underwear or panty that I want to copy, but without this thick elastic or this front seam. There will be a seam in the back, but not in the front. I also want to make this area a little wider. Fold it in half with the back sides together and then place the pin through the center at the top and bottom. Make sure the end of the pin isn't sticking out at the bottom. Fold the paper and crease along the bottom. Fold again and then crease along the center. I'm just going to mark the center front and back so you can see. Open it up and center the underwear on top making sure that the bottom is right on that bottom crease. Fold up the paper again and then place a couple of pins in the center through all the layers. Trace around half of the front edges including that front seam. Flip over and trace the small edge and bottom seam. Remove the pins, slide the underwear up a bit and then repin in place. Trace the back edges and I'm making that leg opening a little bit wider. Remove the underwear, fold the paper in half and then just double check that the seams are the same measurement. Seam allowance is only added to the crotch and side seams. Add 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimeter allowance to these seams. Then cut them out. Fold and crease a smaller piece of paper. Place the front pattern on top and trace around the gusset area. Label each pattern piece and if you're planning on making a lot of these, transfer it onto cardboard. For this project, I'm using four-way stretch cotton and two-way stretch for the gusset. If you want a specific part of a print, place the full pattern piece onto the fabric and check that the grain line is parallel to the selvage edge. You can pin all around like I am or trace around the pattern with chalk or a vanishing pen. I'm using a small 28mm rotary knife. I find it really easy to cut around these curves. You can also fold your fabric along the lengthwise grain and cut out your pattern piece that way. Be sure to cut your gusset out of cotton. I'm using 3 8 of an inch wide Pico Edge Lingerie Elastic. It's soft and stretchy and not thick. You can also use stretch lace. Match the bottom edges with right sides together. Then place the gusset piece on top with the wrong side up, again matching the bottom edges. Because all the layers have a bit of an angle, we need to shift the two outer layers over so that the edges will meet up at the side. Pin both sides in place and across the seam. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for the special offer. To sew the crotch and the sides, I'll be using a triple stretch stitch number 5. Change to a ballpoint needle for stretch fabrics and always use a scrap piece of fabric to test out the stitching. When I sew with stretch fabrics, I don't put the edge of the fabric in front of the needle. Instead, I'll push the fabric so it's just a little bit past the needle and I hold on to the top and bobbin threads to create some tension. This will help prevent any jamming. Stitch the bottom seam and then open it up and flip the gusset over with right side up. I don't worry about finishing off this edge as the fabric won't fray. Clip the gusset in place and turn over. For the leg elastic, I just slightly stretch it while measuring around and then cut two pieces. You can also wrap the elastic around your leg to get the best measurement. Next, divide the elastic into four equal parts and pin to mark it. Divide the leg openings into four equal parts and mark it by cutting little notches. Pin the elastic on top of the fabric with the edges even at the side. Match the pins that are in the elastic to the notches and pin everything in place. To sew the elastic on, I'm using the three steps zigzag stitch number nine. Stitch with the left side of the zigzag, catching the bottom edge of the elastic. Next, we just need to trim away the excess fabric behind the elastic. 
I find it really easy using my small curved craft scissors to do this. Trim close to the top of the zigzag without cutting any of the stitching or the elastic. Fold and match the front and back at one side only and pin in place with right sides together. Change back to the stretch stitch. Sew the seam together, back tacking at the start and finish. Again, I don't finish these seams as it won't run and it'll be soft against the skin. Spread open the seam and the elastic and then we'll top stitch on the elastic on either side of the seam. For the waist, measure across the top and then just cut the elastic 2 inches shorter or you can measure the elastic around your waist. Again, divide the elastic and the top edge into 4 equal parts then match together and pin in place. Stitch together with the 3 step zigzag. Trim the fabric, match the side and then stitch this together and then top stitch the top and bottom elastic at the seams. Now you have underwear with flat sides and no bulky elastic seams. Make sure to check out some of my other tutorials. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.